When I was young, I loved watching animated stories. And some of the best, I think, were Disney animation. There was Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. There was Sleeping Beauty. And of course, Cinderella. There were stories about kingdoms and damsels in distress. And there will always be this prince from afar coming to save her. He sweeps her off her feet, brings her to his kingdom, and marries her. And you know how they all end. They lived happily ever after. A whole generation of young people during our time were conditioned to expect a love that will be forever. I'm aware that younger people today may be a bit more skeptical. You've probably seen too many forever relationships collapse and ended up in separation. Your awareness of a Disney movie is probably frozen. The reason for skepticism may be too up close and personal. That may be the story of your parents. That may be the story of your older siblings. That may be your story as well. And that's why so many of you ask the question, meron bang forever? That's a good and valid question to ask. The question highlights the fact that forever relationships are all too rare nowadays. But the flip side of that question is something positive, I believe. It underlines the fact that the desire for forever relationships remains. Lovers will always long for their relationships to last a very long time, even forever. This tells us that there is an ideal that we will always aspire to achieve. There is indeed forever, but not the way we think about it. The desire for forever relationships is embedded in the human heart. God placed that desire there because God intends to fulfill that when forever does come. The Apostle Paul understands it very well. When he wrote about love in the letter to the Corinthians, this is what he said. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part, but when perfect comes, the partial will pass away. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, then I shall know fully, even as I have been fully known. So now faith, hope, and love abide these three. But the greatest of these is love. I encourage you, therefore, believe in forever, because forever is already a reality in a love relationship with Jesus Christ. As you become involved in a serious human relationship, always remember that forever is always the ideal to aspire for. And by the grace of God, forever will be granted to you. Because in your desire for your relationships to last forever, faith matters too.